In this lesson, we'll be doing practice forced landings. Great fun! Slight wind from the left, ailerons into wind on the takeoff run. Okay, 2000. These P's in the green, release brakes, bit of right rudder, and full power. Okay, so we've got minimum 2300 RPM. T's and P's are all in the green. Air speed is alive. in the classroom, think about your wind. Now the wind on the ground is sort of southwesterly. So your DI is going to tell you, there's our heading, the wind is coming from over there. Okay, so instantly you know southwesterly wind or whatever direction wind. You can look at the DI and see where it's coming from in relation to where we're flying at the moment, right? So the wind's coming, oh, 
Sorry about that. <laughs> Chop you the wind is coming from that direction. So when we are going to be turning on to our final approach into the field, a southwesterly heading way, would be right. quite good. I mean, if worse comes to the worst, you can land in any direction. But remember, if you're landing into the wind, it's going to slow your ground speed. Your ground speed's going to be lower, so you're less likely to over shoot the end of the field through the hedge or whatever. Right. Um, okay, so we're going to go out that way somewhere because we're. Uh, away from built-up areas, yep. and we'll choose the field shortly, but what we'll do to start with is we'll just bail the engine and let you see, actually, it's not a mad rush, you don't need to panic, you can just get the airplane set up and do the checks and the mayday call, and yep. we'll be still well above the ground. Okay, okay. so, I'm just going to put the car feet on for a minute. So, follow me through on the controls. Yeah, when the throttles close, when the engines fail, basically the first thing we're going to do is get it to the best glide speed. So, there's 80, so just below 80, we'll lower the nose and get it in trim to maintain the 75 knots. Okay, so it'll settle down now. Remember, it doesn't respond instantly, so we'll get it settled for the 75. Right. Our rate of descent is about 500 feet per minute, so if we're 3,000 feet, we've got quite a few minutes of sky time left. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is have a look out, see where we are. We've got Gillingham below us, so we don't want to be turning back. Um, left and right, good look out for some fields. As I said, you can, if you can't see here very well, just roll the wing slightly. That's and a big one with the fires too close to the buildings over there, isn't it? Nice long fields there, but... Okay, so there's plenty of big long fields down here, okay, so... Um, southwesterly wind, the wind's coming from over there. Right, so we what we want to be way. ending up is on final approach that way. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll do the checks. So, touch drills on this case. We'll change the fuel, so touch the fuel lever, but don't fuel. Uh, check your mags, you could, you could try an engine restart at this point. Uh, primer, give it a pump, do something with it. Prattle, I will just warm the engine a minute. OK, so check your throttle, mixture, carb heat. OK, so nothing's working. We're okay. going to carry on with our um, descent. So just look out again. Oh, yeah, well, I think we're on target. There's a massive field down there. OK, it's near that road, but that's not a problem. Right. Now we can do the mayday call. We've got plenty of time. OK. OK, so it'll be mayday, 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 Gulf Bravo Sierra Alpha Whiskey, engine failure. We are attempting a forced landing in a field north-west of Gillingham. Right. OK. And then back out again. Let's have a look. Right. That is actually quite a good field. OK, the one with the house in the corner and the yeah. windmill and the far edge. Um, there is a hedge in the middle of it, but it's probably long enough before the hedge to get us down. And there's also lots of other fields dotted around, so if we get the approach slightly wrong onto that one, we can use another field. OK, so, keep flying the aeroplane. Right, so our aiming point is halfway down that field. So we're still doing the 75 knots. We're onto a base leg now. Okay, that's looking quite good. I think we're going to make that so we can go for some flat. Okay, so we're on our base leg. And now we're turning on to the final approach into our field. Ah, that field. Yep, that field. Uh, all right. Okay, so we could go for full flat now. Coming into our field. Right, okay, we definitely make it full power. Let's do a go around. <laughs> Right, you've got control, you can start climbing, and when we've got positive rate, you can start cleaning the aeroplane up. Easy as that! Right, OK. Easy as that. Positive rate of climb. OK, now you can start getting rid of flaps. Slaps away. Retrim. We want to do is a climbing turn to the right and we'll head up north somewhere. What we don't want to do is the PFL in the same place over and over again. Yeah. So we don't annoy anybody or make them complain. 
Decided, no, we can't restart the engine. Let's carry on down. So we're still looking good. I don't know which field you've chosen, but I'll let you carry on. That one to your, just off the top of the, okay. the wing there. Yep. That's where I'm going to go. Okay, so now you can do the mayday call. Obviously, don't do, do a real one. Yeah. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Go for us, yeah. What's the rest of it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> engine failure. And we're attempting a forced landing in the field just south of, um, where are we? Zeals. Zeals. Yeah. I'm a bit high now for that one there. Well, don't forget, remember I said if you're a bit high, it doesn't matter, get okay. some flap in and remember your engine warm. Oh, yeah. Alright, so you think it's a high, so get some flap in. We, we can make the field. Get it, you know, get it coming down. Alright, now get rid of the engine warming. Yeah, that one's just to two two o'clock. Pointy one. Yeah, that's yeah, the one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so at this point, no, not yet, because you oh, won't well, aim for the middle of the field, don't forget to start with, right. and use the flap to bring the aiming point towards you, because we are, we're actually descending quite quickly, and you'd be surprised how low we get in the next few seconds. Okay. Um, this will be a good time to switch everything off, open the door. Okay. Right, now you're definitely going to get there, so go for full flap. Full flap. I remember if you're a little bit high, just do something, just do a bit of a side slip. I mean, you can do that, and you can Look see how that. quickly we're coming down wow. into that field. Okay, so there we go, we would there, we're able to land yeah. just there, and it'll be all fine. So, full power, full power. Just do a go around, can't beat, drag flap away, and let's climb. There you go. Awesome. 
That's so it made a huge difference, didn't it? That yeah. It really brought you down. As I said to you before, if you're a little bit high, doesn't matter, you can soon get rid of height. Yeah. If you're a little bit low, that is a problem. Gotcha. So just be a, aim to be a little bit on the high side. Once you're adamant you can get to the middle of that field, go for full flat. And if you need to, do that bit of a side slip and it'll soon come down. And as I said, that final approach bit, you would have turned everything off. Yeah. Um, open the door. Now, be a bit wary of turning everything off if you're flying an aircraft with electric flaps, because you still need to be able to use flaps, okay? So if you're flying an old Cessna or something, then don't turn the master off until you've finished using your flaps. Gotcha. Okay, well, do a right-hand turn, climb back up to two and a half thousand feet, and when we get there, do a free to check and so on. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far? Ah, that's good. No problem. Come back out final two six. Back to the north again, two and a half thousand. Yeah. And then we'll get past the hills and do another one up over there somewhere. So, free to check, so fuel, do you want to change tanks now? Um, give it another five, ten minutes before okay. we do that. Uh, radio set to competent. Uh, altitude. That's, that's all, we leave that alone, don't we, for the yeah, minute? Yeah, minute. Okay, and then uh, direction, so what are we looking at? Here we go again, so uh, get the speed off. Speed off, Richard. There it is. Oh, come on, come on. All right. Okay, so looking, 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 looking. Um, don't want to fly over that hill, do I? There. Well, actually, no, I'm going to pick that one just down there, it's sort of uh, 2 o'clock. Yep, OK. OK, so just do all the checks then, so fuel, bags, uh, primer, bottle, mixture, barb, mayday, mayday, mayday. Gold, barbers, yeah, whiskey, ginger ale, yeah. What did you say, landing in the field, north of, where are we? Don't even know where. Uh, we're north of Stourhead, mate. Stourhead. Oh no, there's telegraph poles there. Okay, so, you want to be rigidly flexible. Is there anything else we can go down in? Well, not really, so we're going to have to go around that way. So I think our best bet, I'm just going to warm the engine, is that long thin field there, oh, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a funny approach, but it should be alright. Okay, so there you go, you've got control. Control. In fact, that one there with the tree in it would be fine. So get some flapping. 
We're a bit high, so get this thing side slipping a little bit. There you go, it's coming on down. No, full flap, full flap, keep it coming down. And do a bit of a weave about here just to maintain. And we get into that field. Fine, there you go, so full power. Full power. Back up away. I'm on my heading. Right, so at that one we were only two and a half thousand feet, and the hills here are probably eight, nine hundred feet, so we actually had a lot less time on that one than right. we did on the previous ones, because our height above the ground wasn't as much. I think what I did wrong now is focusing on getting it into winds, more than finding a decent field. Well, we weren't exactly into wind then. We though, weren't though. exactly so we into had wind. To do that because there wasn't a decent location, was there? Exactly. It? I mean, it was roughly into wind. We were sort of heading right. very fish somewhere. Don't forget your flat and go when you've got positive oh, rain. Yeah. If you're doing left aileron, right rudder, then what? Yeah, you? you do opposite uh, control, so you can do it either way, right? But opposite. Was it full rudder? It felt full rudder. Pretty much. The advantage with doing that is you can get coming down without accelerating. Right. The last thing you want to do is shove your nose down to get the rain quicker, because then you're going to get too fast. Okay, turn us right to the left, so we're not too near the long leap, which is on our right. And when we level off, you can do a tank change. Okay. Two and a half again? Yeah.
for places to land all the time, really, isn't it? I just suppose when you get to your experience level, it's an easy decision-making process, I guess. Well, usually you're quite, you know, in this country there's lots of open space, lots of big fields.
professor. During the rest of the course, we will be practicing PFLs occasionally. Okay. I won't give you any warning. I'll just go. Brr. Okay. And you'll have to just sort it out. Sort it out. You sorted out the mixture, did you? I did, yeah. Right. So that would be something to think about, wouldn't it? Because I guess on the check test you might be... But I remember part of, your, uh, part of your drill was to actually, was to actually right. have a look at that. I mean, if the mixture isn't rich, put it rich. Nice and leisurely cruise back towards the airfield. You yep. can have a go at doing the leaning. Right, okay, so I'm still climbing a bit here, Rich. Okay, so we just bring it back to the start to protest. There. Ooh, a bit too much. Let's try that again. So down, down slowly. There, and then back up a little bit. Not about right? Yep, it's not too bad at all. Some aircraft, I mean this one's got an exhaust gas temperature gauge, but it doesn't work. So you can actually lean it so that you get the correct exhaust gas temperature, oh, which okay. is marked on there with a little line. But in this instance it doesn't work. Six back Compton, so we want to have the airport slightly on our right when we arrive. So if you now turn on to say a one two zero heading, that should keep the airfield on our right. And you can give them a call in a minute or so and get the airfield information. Say so we are returning from the northwest. Okay, I'll do it now. Yep. Thompson Radio, Golf Bravo Sierra Alpha Whiskey, returning from the northwest, requesting airfield information. Alpha Whiskey is 26 right, QRV is 975. 26 right, 975, Golf Alpha Whiskey. Shall I be saying 975 like Graham said? Yeah, well, officially it's 975. But five. Five. But most people say Niner. Very few people say five. And okay. three is tree. Tree? Yeah. But nine is the one that most people use. That's it officially, it's five. Tree. Find Gillingham, find the woods. Left of the woods you should find Shaftesbury, and then if you go south from Shaftesbury, you should find the airfield. So we're going to do an overhead join. Yeah. Um, so we'll carry on in this direction when the airfield uh, is on our right. The two six numbers are the correct way round on our right. When you pass the centre line, you can then start the descent. However, today we're not going to do a descent because we're going to do a glide approach from the overhead. Okay. I'll talk you through it as we do it. Okay. So basically, this is the final bit. Um, of what we've been practicing, but we're actually going to land this time. We are going to land. We are going to land, wow. and we're not going to use any power, in theory. Okay, we'll warm the engine occasionally, but we shouldn't need to use power to get to the airfield. Okay, lighting. Uh, you climb us up a little bit higher, because obviously the airfield is 800 feet up. 
if you take us out to say 2800, that gives us a couple of days for to play with. And again, you'll find that you do a glide approach quite often when we're coming back to the airfield as practice. You will do one during your skills test. Okay. Oh, this is a fixture up. Oh, oh, Richard. So that's where we want to be a thousand feet on right. those trees. So we're coming down to 1200. So we're looking pretty good. Keep your nose, that's it. 
175 knots here. Okay, so we're definitely going to make the field, so give it full flap. Full flap, yeah. Quite a lot of wind holding us up here today. But it's... Wow. Okay, so we can do a bit of a weave about. Yeah, so we're still doing a bit of a weave, just to lose a bit of height. That's amazing how much height we lost there. There we go, so now we're coming down into the field. The first frolic. Um, and then it's just a normal landing from now on. There you go. Wow, that was amazing. I thought we were going to be way too high. Brilliant. As I said, it's better to be a little bit high because you can lose that quite quickly, as you can see. Yeah. Right, we'll come off now and do your after landing uh, check. traffic, yeah. called Bravo Romeo Uniform Bravo. Uh, now approaching from the south and request uh, information to rejoin. Uniform Bravo, 26 right, QFE is 975. 26 right, yes, sir. QFE 975, Uniform Bravo. Up to traffic, Old Papa Whiskey, one way vacated. Burn into wind? Yep. That's it, and not do your after landings. That'll do. Ah, that's incredible. Amazing! <laughs> Good, love that one. God, I don't know how long is it going to take to get that right, though. I mean, I was. That's why my, we do quite a lot of practice, to be honest. I was going to say my brain was melting down on that one. Yeah. I can't believe how quickly we came down. Incredible. Yeah, you do come down quite quickly once you've um, killed the power. And once you, no power and flat, you lose quite. I mean, you're, I don't know what we were doing. Probably 1,200 feet per minute descent rate. Because we're pretty much right on top of the threshold, and I thought, "Isn't that where are we getting down?" Then he's like, "Whoa, <laughs> that was brilliant!" Right, I will let you pack up all your gear, yes. and then we'll go and debrief and do the paperwork. Excuse me. Hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit the like button. Even better, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you next time. <laughs>